The idea is that gradually over the course of the pre-season, we increase the load on the lads, making sure they're fit enough for the start of the season. Ideally, we'd be up to three games worth of work a week by the time they get to the first game of the season, so that when they get to playing, um, they're not limited by their physicality. Um, obviously, in China, it was really, really hot, so it was quite difficult to get a lot of physical work into them. Evian's been really good in terms of being able to modify each day to make sure they get exposure to their high speed running, some speed exposure, and then the real short, sharp work that they need to play with intensity in the games. There's nothing quite like having your own setup like we do back, back at the training ground, but what we have had is we've shipped some equipment over. Um, we've got our own space, our own areas to work in. Um, and also we've split the group into smaller, more manageable um, sizes and, uh, and, and, and able to, to sort of make use of the time while the guys are here in the afternoon and, uh, and, and really get some good work into them that way. Obviously this week in Evian uh, we've come with the first team squad of, of 25 players. Um, we're now five weeks into what would be our pre-season training camps and uh, it's been really tough for the guys. Um, lots of double sessions, higher volume and intensity than maybe we would have during the season and that's obviously necessary to prepare them for the rigours of the, of the Premier League that we've got to come. For me, you know, um, Mark Hughes and his coaching staff are, are great communicators. You know, we start each day with a, a multidisciplinary team meeting. We've got a good idea of content of training and we can best inform how, how we periodise what players we put into that uh, based on the strengths and weaknesses and, and how fit they are at that moment in time.